Welcome back to Metroid Prime. Every time she comes out of the save, she always looks like she just came out of a rickety elevator. She's like, huh. Well, it's the second game ever, you know, for, for her, chronologically speaking. So she's still not used to it. It's like, oh, she's, whoa, how the heck do I... Or maybe she's getting, like, space six. Just like, oh, oh whoa. All right. I mean, Samus is still kind of serious when she's on the job. So when she did that big flip at the beginning of the game, it took everything in her power to not to go, whoa, did you see that? Oh, my God, what? Shift computer, did you get that? Please, please tell me you Mission got that shot. Mission status, sick! <laughs> this is Radical Hunter Samus Aaron coming here to blow all you bastards to smithereens! Next game, Metroid Prime Ballers! Metroid Prime 2, extreme! <laughs> she goes to the X Games and just absolutely dominates. Ooh, what are these? These are flying pirates. Aww. So pirates are nearby, like they're, like we landed close to where they are. Mm-hmm. These guys fly around and shoot missiles, but they're very, uh, explosive. Uh, and, you know. suicide strike? Yeah, if you, uh -oh. if, if you don't blow them up right there, they will come and, like, just come hur hurling, hurling towards you yeah. in a kamikaze attack. Oh, they flew away. Yep, they flew away. They're gonna go say, oh. Samus is here, we're fucked! What's this crap? Ew. Ugh. Highly toxic. This may be the phase on compound the space pirates were using in their biological experiments. Uh, we're getting into it. I love it. Uh, they've been using something called phase on yeah. to genetically alter all the creatures on this planet. Oh no. Oh man. It's it's like, hey boss, we found some highly deadly goop on some unknown planet. Let's use it to fuck up some animals. No. This is why you are my senior research developer. See, we need to find out what it actually does. I mean, is this just, like, ecto-cooler, or is it actually, you know, good for the environment? Ecto-cooler is green, you dummy. Excuse me. It's blue raspberry. Blue raspberry Kool-Aid. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's cotton candy. Cotton candy. Oh, wow. This, just <laughs> just t put a, dip a finger in there. and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, wow. Tastes like sugar and double cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have eaten the cotton candy. We gotta run back to the, to the uh, Chozo ruins, and yes, I know, I missed a missile pack. We'll I, get it. I missed one. It was it was right by the uh, the ship. We needed to to be morph ball to do it. I missed it. I know. I know. But we'll get it. We'll be back. I I I know. I'm no sorry. Worries. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I felt like a fool. It's like, wait a minute, this is a- oh, I missed one! And I've already saved! And the, and the episode's already been recorded! Yeah, no! it's all right. yeah, it's all right. What am I gonna have to do? Improvise? <laughs> Never! No! Never happens, all of this is scripted. All it's of this is- Including the opening bit. No, get, get to page five, hurry. You're all out. of this is- D Come on, man! I'm running out of time! I don't want to improvise! Scripted! There we go. This is- not improvised! Yes! Well, thankfully, I memorized all my lines, so I'm good for the entire episode. These are actually notes for your uh, conquer. <laughs> to, uh, yeah, I, I made actual physical notes. No, not, not only that, he typed them out, he highlighted them mm -hmm. in very, very professionally, he double sided them, had it stapled. Yep. Man. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I gotta hire you as my secretary. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> it was still kind of a nightmare to record that stupid thing. We have missiles, so we can now blow up the war wasp hive so they don't spawn anymore. But by the time we come back out after a few rooms and the game reloads them back in, there they are again. These war wasps work quick. Well, I mean, they have to be ready for war at a moment's notice. Well, sure. Like when yeah. President Wasp calls in for the brigade, <laughs> it's just like. President Wasp! It's just like, hey, hey, hey! We, we got an invading species. Is space pirates? Yeah, yeah. Build, build up the forces. So what, what kind of president is President Wasp? Uh, hmm. Di he, uh, he, dictatorial. Like, we we need to go and uh, find out the, that that hunter and take out her weapons of mass destruction and all of her malarkey. No. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go out and find Sam the Samus Aaron, and we need to. <laughs> oh right, lore. They're talking about the hatchling. That's us. This oh. is this is like kind of later on, like 
probably just a few days before all the Chozo left. And it's like, well, hey, we heard that the, like one of our sister tribes in another planet found a hatchling of sorts. And they're gonna try and and uh, teach her to be a wonderful Chozo work. Could could she be the uh... one who will save us? Okay, now I have to ask. Yeah. Hatchling, is that just Chozo speak for like baby? Well, they're birds. I, I know, I just, they, they, I just yeah, wanted to make birds. sure that, you know, Samus wasn't born out of an egg. She was born to human parents. Okay. Then her colony got attacked by Ridley. And then she fell to planet Zebes, I believe. And then the Chozo, who are still there, found her, adopted her, trained her, and infused Chozo DNA with her. Okay. See, I was just making sure it wasn't like... You know, oh, hey, Samus is actually an eggling. Allow me to feed you. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, 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 they're smart birds, okay? Mm -hmm. Smart birds. Birds are smart, but I mean, you know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> they have perfect vision. T can you... But when it comes to humans, hmm, debatable. This is this really where you're going to be like, mm, I, I don't believe any of this. I mean, bird people that think like humans, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Mm. We might as well just retroactively delete me out of the other Metroid games at this point. <laughs> Can't handle it. This is where you call bullshit, huh? <laughs> right here? It's just because this is the only Metroid game that bested me. Meh. And then I never played Prime 2 or 3, unfortunately. So they both could have bested you. Mm -hmm. Prime 2 would have bested the hell out of you. Uh, yeah. You, you think Prime 1 is hard? Prime 2 is like... Let's change the gameplay up kind of hard. Well, I, I just kind of lost interest in this one. Unfortunately, I did too. Like I got kind of far, and then it was just like you know what. I mean, yeah, I, I did too because they just keep going back to the same places over and over again. Metroid Prime Two, you you go to you know okay, get get the thing from this world. Okay, get the thing from this world. Get the thing from this world. Okay, now go around the map and get all these things and go to the end of the game. Now I will say, ironically, the it only fl it flows better is what I mean. The only way I saw the end of this game, as well as the other. Prime games was watching a Let's Play where three guys just goofed over it the entire time. Well, now you're watching a Let's and now Play. I'm a part of it. Two guys just goof over goofing, it. The, goofing, oh my what, God! It comes full circle. I'm trying to be serious here, man. Ten this years in the event. making. This is Ten years in the making, baby. <laughs> Look here, there's a missile over here. <laughs> Didn't forget this one. This one. This one's a good one. This one's good. <laughs> I get the missile. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get a new weapon. We're, we're, we're gonna get something that we lost at the space station up, up there, but we're gonna get that back. My dude, it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. You missed one missile. Pack. I'm okay. Out of po the make... possible, like what? What'd you say? Eighty? Uh, like there's uh, forty-nine of them. Forty-nine missile packs. Forty-nine missile packs. At five apiece. Forty-nine missile packs, five apiece. I think you end up with like two hundred fifty-five missiles at the end. Oh, that makes sense. Because if you go over one more, the game crashes. I don't think it crashes, just overflows. You find the kill screen of Metroid. <laughs> I, I think it just overflows. Infinite missiles. Or zero. Uh-uh. Well, that'd be kind of a rip-off. Like, just imagine finding that extra hidden missile tank, and it just goes down to zero and you no longer have missiles. Right, well, here we have to find four runic symbols. Oh, yeah, puzzles! That's a thing in Metroid Prime. Th that's a thing in shooters. I love puzzles in shooters. What? Name one puzzle in Call of Duty. The quit button. You have solved Call of Duty, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. I'm talking like, you know, Portal, Half-Life, even Doom. Very true. Very true. Puzzles kind of make you interact with the world a bit more. Where's that damn fourth runic symbol? Oh, right there. Oh, there it is. Right at the door. There you go. Perfect. You know, you mentioned Portal, and I'm just like, oh my god, that is a first-person shooter. <laughs> In a technicality, yeah. It's a first-person puzzle shooter. Makes sense. Man, now I want to, like, relive Portal. Like, forget everything about it and then just relive it. We got more lore. I like lore. Hi, lore. Okay. All right, so we got to uh, return to Talon 4, born here against our will by a great cataclysm from the regions of space. The meteor came, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land uh -oh. with the violence of its impact. Though we perceived this from beyond space and time, it was but a curiosity, a brief flare in the infinite march of the universe. The meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land, clawing at life with such violence Ooh. that we were ripped from our peaceful state and find ourselves wandering as shadows of the mortal forms we left behind, searching for why we are here. I like it. 
So some of the Chozo got away and, you know, went to go settle elsewhere. A lot of them didn't. A lot of them are still here. A lot of them are watching. <gasps> yes! We got the charge beam! We got the charge beam! Excellent. Technically optional, but, you know, hey, the charge beam is always optional in Metroid games, am I right? Oh, we can destroy these now, I think. No, we can't. Oh, really? It's like, wow, these guys are mean. That's, uh, kind of cruel. But hey! you can just use a charge beam to take out multiple at once if you know where to shoot. Oh, we can't destroy them. Yeah. Oh, they go. gone. I just don't destroy them because they're just, it just takes too much time. Yeah, it does. Because you have to wait for the charge beam and you need to aim and fire. And, you know, who's got time for that? Ah! Okay, we're good. We'll be back here in just a little bit. Like back in this exact room? Yes, back in this exact room to do this exact thing. This exact thing. The exact same thing over again <laughs> in just a little bit. He's a little flustered. He got the charge beam. It's just like, whoa. I'm, I'm excited. Whoa. Charge beam. The cool thing about following a guide 100% is that you're overpowered. <laughs> no more hurting for missiles or health, but I've got it all. Maybe that's why I enjoy 100% in games. Like I get my ass kicked in the first half and then in the back half, I'm just like, all right, motherfuckers, bring it. I can take you all on. Look at all these missiles. Look at all this experience. Couldn't have beat Ninja Gaiden 2 without it. Ninja Gaiden 2 is a different beast. You either play by its rules even if you play by its rules, you still get your ass kicked for no reason whatsoever. I, I, I'm, I'm not playing Ninja Gaiden again, though. Ever again. I know what kind of game I like, and Ninja Gaiden's not one of them. I still have to try beating the first one. At least... You, no, uh, you at don't! Least, no, you yeah. don't! I mean, I got the collection, I no, might as you, well. No, you don't. It's okay. You, 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 there's so many other games that you means could I be get spending to, better time with. I get to be, be like... Play Ninja Gaiden 3, the easiest one, and apparently the worst one, too. So you want to play an easy, bad game? Yeah. Is that what you want? Look, I need to beat games why don't you somehow, why dude. Why don't you play good games? I need to beat some things. Beat good games! All the best games take too long. Play short, good games, then! I'll play Portal again. That sounds fun. I haven't done that in a hot decade. Play the new Ratchet & Clank or something. It's pretty short. I should do that. I have the power of the PlayStation 5 on my side. There you go, yeah. I can play so many games now. Dude, like, I like mean, right now. Most games are like 10 hours long. This is like perfect for you. Yeah. I like that. Not like me. I've got like at least 10 60 hour games that I gotta go through right now. This is why I love the Switch, because I can play it before bed. It's perfect. D whoop. Oh. It <laughs> Yep, that's me. That is a life force door. I'm using Jet Force Gemini te technology there because, uh, kill all the enemies in the room and then you can unlock the door. Oh, okay. Wait, I, maybe I got that wrong. Hold on, think back into the Jet Force Gemini lore. Uh, oh, ah, hi. This is the guy I gotta kill, I think. Oh, yeah, this, this is a guy. stone toad. He's vulnerable only from within. Oh. So he just kind of sits there, waiting. waits for stupid pill bugs and the like to come roll into its gaping maw, and if he swallows it and realizes, hey, I can't digest this, he goes, mm -hmm. so, That's gross. So essentially, he works as a, bio as a, a biological launcher of sorts. <gasps> Ooh. Oh no! Oh, that ain't good! Oh no! Oh jeez! Uh -oh. Yeah! Fuck! Wait, is that a? All right. Oh, check this out. This is the incinerator drone. Okay. This is basically this the incinerator. It's a trash bot. Device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when internal power gets uh, gets messed up. So that's why it's trying to incinerate you. So we, it's a huge hive up there. The war wasps have basically overtaken this this entire uh, this entire room. The incinerator thinks that we're garbage. And I mean, is but if he, we shoot up he here, wrong? it fires a blast of fire up there and burns more of the hive. And they're like, "Hey, that's not nice. What the hell are you doing?" Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. And we got to scan this war wasp. 
because he's missable. Because he is a missable. This is a barbed war wasp, an airborne insect with the ability to launch its stinger at its prey. Even more spikes on a wasp? Even are you more? Me? He just puts spikes everywhere. What um, are we, Tensei and Nomura? <laughs> Where's the zippers? Where's the belts? <laughs> oh, now they're moving their uh, their uh, fire uh, blasts, I guess. Oh, there well, see, now yeah. it's just dabbing on you. Dab on the trash. Launch more fire on, up there. <laughs> Is it the uh, Nintendo One Two Three rule? Something akin to that. Ow. It, it might. It might be because I don't have a, a health bar. Oh yeah. So I don't think it's something that has a uh, physical health bar. It might just be you know. Oh, yeah, it's it. just a trash pot. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Plus it up there. Might, it might be four. Now we're getting to the advanced stage where it just waves its arms. Woo, 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 woo. Now it's like, all right, it's time to broil this nah. bitch. <laughs> Trash identified as bitch. Take her down. Goodbye, Samus. It's a very rude incinerator. Wait, you know me? Oh, yeah, it's got the sickest of burns. Ah, Good man. job. Boosh. Even has a cutscene for it. Yeah, oh. I know what that is. What is it? It's a bomb. It's a morph ball bomb. Yes. Now we can bomba things. I like bomba things. By the way, I just realized you never scan the charge beam. You don't need to scan the individual items themselves. Okay, you're just doing it just to like, you, you, like just a to say this mystery. is what this is. Look get at that. Get hyped. Get excited. We're getting this. Yay. Morph ball bomb. Morph ball bomb. But yeah, like, you know, missile, uh, missile expansions, you don't have to scan those, you know, power-ups and the like. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, uh, just, thank you. Hi. Thanks, Missile Tank. Pickups you do have to scan, though. Oh, like health and yeah. all that? Okay. Well, uh, we're already kind of getting close to where we were when we started. We got the charge beam, we got the missiles back. And then we everything the, else is just a bonus. We got the morph ball, we got the bomb. Yeah, yeah, I mean, aside from the various suit and the grapple beam, I think we got about everything. Time to get eaten by a toad. Come here, big boy. Oops. Oh, wait, no. Got ow, shriek ow, bats ow, to deal ow, with. Ow. God, those do a lot of damage. Okay, <coughs> watch into that one. <coughs> Hello. Hello, sir. I hope you're prepared to die. Launch. Oh, God. It, it just blew up? It's yeah. gone. I was wondering about the, uh... Bio life force door, or whatever. It's just locked by one of these mechanisms here. This is how the game uh, kind of opens doors. It's like a switch of sorts. Go, oh right, go to right, right, ball. Right. Go to a bomb. Pop in. Pop in there, and either you use the boost ball or you use uh, a bomb, and you activate something. This, however, is timed. Hurry, go, go, go! Oh. Oh, not now, map! I've got to- <laughs> Alright, where? Where's the energy spike? Where are we going? It's right yes, there. Yes, I was on my way there! Thank you! Oh, hey, look, it's the furnace. It's the furnace! Yes! No, go figure! I figured the guys, these guys want to go for heat! Time to burn more trash. Let's burn some more trash. Okay, we gotta go over here now before the time runs out. Do the same thing. Yep, boom, and boom! Is there actually a timer you can hear for that? Or yeah. you just know it's a time thing? Yes, you can. Okay. It's it's a weird sounding timer, but uh, so when, it start, when it starts getting faster, you realize, oh shit, that is a timer! Oh, okay. So, keep going. Yep, up, yep. up here. You're good. You're good. You good? You got this? Shriek bats. These things out there. of the way. All right, we gotta make it over there in time to and lock it into place. And over here. made it. Not yet. Not oh, yet. Oh wait, did not make it. Still going. Still going. And pop in up here and boom. Secured. <laughs> got it. Lock it in place. Perfect. No, yeah. that's permanent. I kind of like how the switch just drops you. It's just like, okay, go. Get out of here. D it does feel nice. It makes you think that, oh, there's something I should be doing here. Hmm. Beep. Beep. I'm really All liking right. the level design so far. It works well. Yeah, each individual room had to be separately modeled from everywhere else. I know what that is. That's a spider ball thing. But, uh, yeah, stuff like this, going from the side view, it's just really intricately designed. You don't see that too much these days. Oh, That is an energy tank. I like that.
Gotta love these energy tags. That just, that just feels nice. That's All actually right. a lot of health for this early in the game. We're almost getting one E tank an episode. Yeah. Which means this game, <laughs> we're gonna be finished in less than 20 episodes. Awesome. Do you, 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 you think that? Yeah, I think that. We might. I don't believe we, we, it. We, we might not. But I think it. I could just have a really hard time when we get to the to, <laughs> to the uh, pirate ship, you know? But look, you have a track record. Metroid Dread was the longest Metroid series with 20 episodes even. Because it was the longest Metroid game! Exactly. And, also, we were just having fun. And now we're getting to Primes, which, you know, they, they would be long. I mean, they're kind of on the short side if you know what you're doing, and I... Yeah. 90% <laughs> know what I'm doing. <laughs> that ellipsis made me not believe you as much. <laughs> look, don't worry about it, okay? I'm just here for fun. Well, fun's where we're gonna. We're, well, we're, we're gonna. We're, we're, we are having. We're having fun, damn it! Again, I. Laugh! Yes, sir. Stop crying! <laughs> Again. Stop calling the police! Ah! Don't you dial that second one! <laughs> oh, did, did I tell you about that? Speaking of 911. The, the time you called 911 on me? Uh, not on you. At work. In order to make an outside call. You have to dial nine and one first. Oh no. So I had to call oh, somebody no. and their number started with a one and he immediately went, dialing nine one one. I was like, no, 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 no please. I believe it or not, I managed to hang up th like the nanosecond before they actually answered. So it was just done. They didn't call back. And I hate that because 911 gets called, uh, like emergencies get called at work all the time because of the heat setting off the fire alarms. Uh, so, out of nowhere, we'll just get a cruiser and a fire engine outside of our building saying, where's the fire? You and know, some years ago, my dad uh, had ADT at his place. Oh my. Yeah, just, you know, like, like a security place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, whenever, like, there'd be, like, a power outage or, like, a storm or whatever, when the power would come back on, he'd get a call from ADT uh, saying... Uh, hi, was there a fire in Sector 4? <laughs> He's like, no, 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 power just went out, that's all. Oh, okay. Every time, like clockwork. Mm -hmm. and, he and he lived in a place that had, like, a lot of swaying trees by power lines. Ugh. So it, the power would go out, you know, pretty frequently. Yeah. He's like, is there a fire? No, 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 no. So we had to come back in here in order to go into this little tube right here. I didn't even see that. And all of this? Oh, wow, for another connecting area. We're just here for a missile expansion, then we're gonna have to come back here yet again. Oh, good God! For another missile expansion. All right, and now I'm starting to see why I kind of, kind of bowed out of Metroid Prime. But this is so we can get power for the uh, later bosses coming up. Oh! So there's this one, and once we get the spider, the spider ball, where we can climb these magnetic <gasps> tracks. What? That's when we come back here. That's what we're getting. Yep. Yep. See that that Whoa. that that magnetic trail right there? We can spoilers, dude. We can we can climb that. It, it's a it's a callback to Metroid Two. Two. You, you see, so you can tell how big uh, Metroid fans these guys are because Metroid Two. Who's a, who's gonna remember the yeah, Spider plays, Ball from Metroid Two? Who plays Metroid Two? Let alone Super Metroid. Hey, Super Metroid's big. Yeah, it was big only because uh, you know Samus appeared in Smash. That is true. Man, I just realized Nintendo skipped anything Metroid related on the 64. Probably because it wasn't technically powerful enough. They have a hard time figuring what to do with their series half the time, which I suppose is good. I'd rather them uh, go all in on a good idea rather than try and squeeze some bad idea out. Here's an idea for you. Just hear me out on this. Okay. We may have mentioned this before, but would you mind seeing... Star Fox and the Metroid series combined just for a little mini-adventure. It'd be a great favor to the Star Fox series. That's the main thing I was getting at, is we might be able to salvage a little bit of the Star Fox franchise Throw F-Zero into it, too. Why not? Just make a whole big sci-fi connected universe for Nintendo. Well, Star, uh, Star Fox, uh, the, the DS one, which one was that? <laughs> Command. Command. One of the, one of the endings was... Fox and Falco become F Zero pilots. Yeah, they 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 join. Yeah, Cr Crystal uh, fucking dumps Fox, and he's like, oh, I'm so sad about it. Hell yeah. And then and then uh, he jo he joins up with Falco, and they become uh, IGPX racers. That's that's awesome. 
That's perfect. See, we can have crossovers. We just need to, you know, take a couple more risks in this Switch era that we're in. Ah! They just gotta have a, 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 a good idea. A really good idea and a commitment to take a risk and make the plunge. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. That's probably why we're never getting F-Zero, because they want to, they just don't know how. Well, well, then they're not gonna, you know, shit out an F Zero game and be like, "Here you go, have have fun." Yeah, here you go. They, they want to be like, "All right, how can we really make it special?" I just really want them to, you know, don't overthink it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel because then we get Star Fox Zero. Oh. That's you, you uh, don't need to gimmick it. In, in fact, the 200 CC in Mario Kart Eight, that's basically an F Zero game in itself. <laughs> just do that. We're basically doing nothing but, uh, uh, getting missile expansions for the time being. Oh, that's fine. We, we need the power, man. Nintendo not just power. Not just because it's 100%, but because we're gonna be at 100%, you know? Now, the thing is, when you go down here, mm -hmm. the beetles and the armored beetle show back up. No, we don't need that. You don't, you don't need to fight them, but it's a little bit annoying. So I'm curious, without a guide, does the map show you obstacles that you can blow up? Or secrets? Uh, your scan visor would show off, uh, bombable and blastable walls. And they would, they'd, they'd tell you that, uh, oh, this, this particular wall seems to be made of, like, some sort of, uh, carbon alloy, which, so something like that is supposed to mean that you can use your morph bomb. Or, like, there's a... Like, this one has, like, a strontium sort of, uh, feel to it, so this one you need, like, a super missile to blow up. Like, th like this tree in here? This, th that's behind us right now? Mm -hmm. There's a missile expansion back there. Oh. But we can't get it, because we need the super missile. Oh, okay. It's really just exploration, finding what you can. And I think they kind of just streamlined, well, not streamlined, but, uh, they, uh, made the, the critical path a little more linear. And I, and I appreciate that, for, like, the, the sequels. That does sound nice. That way you don't get lost. There's a, there's a lot of retreaded ground here, as you can tell already. God, three episodes and we're now getting into... But, we're that. finding new bits in the rooms okay. that we keep going back That's to. That's actually cool. So it's not all just the same taff. I didn't even notice there was a puzzle in here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think... Like, I, I know it's for three, and I think there's something you can do for Metroid Prime 1 and 2, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but there are ways that it will show where the last collectibles are. Oh, probably like a, a map room or something like that? Yeah, it's, it's, I think you need to, like, beat the game or, or whatever, and it's like, hey, here's what you missed, wanna try again? Sure! I know Metroid Prime 3 does that. Oh, like, that's nice. Like, t towards the end of the game, there's this, uh, little place you can go to. And it says, all right, here's everything that you still need before you go into the end game. That's nice. I appreciate that as a co collectathon kind of guy. Yeah, you won't get much except for like, oh, I don't know, a secret special ending. Oh, that's all? That's all. Oh, thanks. No, I really like that. I kind of miss those days, too, of having a super special awesome ending for those who, you know, took the time to get it. Oh, you got to know where to look. For in here. For, for, for games that have super secret special endings. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. 427 Shibuya Scramble has something like that. Ooh. If you go for the Platinum, you will, like, keep finding new stuff long after you finish the story. I love that. Just give me all the secrets. Ah, that's great. I'd love to do 427 one day, actually. See, now you just got me thinking of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> What could you no, do sorry. today? Four, 427 was Stanley. 428 is the name of Shibuya Scramble. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, worlds are colliding, no! Stanley could hear a ringtone, and then there was a bright <laughs> flash of light. He realized that he was dead. He's going to have to try again. Come on, Stanley. You can read, can't you? Just choose the other choice. Do it again. But right this time. I don't even know the plot of Shibuya Scramble. That's all you, man. That's all me. It's it's uh it's one of the only games where the live action kind of worked. Kinda, you say? I, I mean, you, you have to get kind of get used to the fact that these are real people. Oh, okay. But but in the way it's presented, it's it's 
it, it works. It's fine. It's it's one of the visual novel greats. I, I applaud it. There's even a shitty anime subchapter after you beat it. It's just for Hell people. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's made from the guy who did Fate Type Moon or something like that. Oh wow. Yeah, he, he, he took one character and basically ran her into the ground and animated the fuck out of her. And beat right, the shit out of right her. Right up just... your alley. They, they made a spin-off anime and better than everything. Hell yeah. That's all That's all for you, buddy Give boy. me that weeb trash. Yeah, you can keep, you can take the weeb trash. I'll, <laughs> I'll stick with the... Gripping Japanese drama for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you didn't have to be a snob about it. Oh, but I do, oh, Nisko. Oh, but I do. <laughs> oh, but I do. Alright, is this what I'm thinking of? Yeah, okay. Oh, we d oh All right. yeah, we're doing the thing. Uh, okay, this is, this is one that is made harder because of the GameCube. Gotta blow up these two grates first. Alright, here's how it works. One... That's active now. Mm hmm And then... Bomb jump... Two... That's okay. active now. And now three is up there. You gotta learn bomb jumping. You could bomb jump in the... in the, uh, trilogy remakes. But you can't in this one. You gotta do the art of bomb jumping. And oh, it's... you mean... you mean ball jump. Yeah, 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 ball jump, I mean. Like, you, you can't just, like, jump like you can in Metroid Prime 3. If I remember right, the timing is one, and then when it blows you up, one, one. I think it's like, when you reach the oh. arc of your jump... I, 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 I can do it, I'm just, I'm just, you know, choking. <clears throat> come on, get it right, come on now, come on. Oh. oh, so close. It's not required to do this bomb jumping technique, but if you want 100% and you want to, you know, look cool in front of all your friends... <laughs> so far, you're looking, eh, you're looking alright. Dad, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, come on. Come on, cool. There we go. There all right, just takes a little bit, a little bit of uh, jiggling the handle, you know. You do all that, and that opens up, and there's just a missile expansion. All that for a missile tank. All that for a missile tank, but hey, all that for a missile tank, and look how many goddamn missiles we have right now. We got 50 of them. Oh, man, 50 of them. That's pretty good. Wow. Actually, you know, the the fact that we said all that for a missile tank just reminds us, uh, reminds me of us playing Dread. Of course! It's just like, oh, we went through, uh, this entire rigmarole, we're, you know, we're canceling out Shine Sparking and going through all this, and, oh, for a missile tank, great. Or, you know, for one half of an E-tank. Oh, great. At least we got 100%, yeah! I think we're all caught up to start continuing on with the game now. So let's make our way to the nearest save station. And then I, I think we'll be prepared. Ap aptly prepared because of all these freaking missiles we have. I'm just drowning in missiles. So this is a game where you want to have missiles. They do the most damage, right? They, they do the most damage and just the, 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 ch the charge beam, while is, is situational at best. Mm -hmm. Missiles are kind of a catch-all thing most of the time. Well, isn't the charge beam the same damage output as one missile? Like, missiles are just easier to do? I'm not... I, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But the thing is, missiles are also ammunition for other beams. So, the su like, the way the super missile works in this game is that you don't just, you know, fire a super missile or have, like, a specific set of oh, ammo. Oh, yeah, it's like five missiles per super, you right? Have to, you have to charge your charge beam... Oh! ...and then fire a missile, and that fires five missiles into a super missile. Oh. And there are other beams that we can get that all have their own charge plus missile ability that takes a set number of missiles. Interesting. Okay. So, so the, the, yeah, having missiles is almost detrimental. So or, the, sorry. So required. detrimental. Or, or required. I had different <laughs> words in my brain. Boy, that's quite a kerfuffle, Nuckety. <laughs> <laughs> English is my first language. So missiles are definitely a good thing to have, especially early on. So going around and getting all these missiles are really going to help us moving forward, especially when we gather more missiles and get more things and do more stuff. Just get all the missiles. It's just, just, just so just much. Just drown in missiles. Just give me more missiles. I'm starting to see why Samus loved missiles so much in uh, <laughs> in, uh, in Metroid 2. Yeah, yeah. She could use sense. them as currency at this point. <laughs> Basically. Well, see you next time on Metroid Prime to do more stuff. And get more missiles.